Hey sportsman, John Bergsma, welcome to another great episode. We're here in Cochrane, Ontario. We're just getting ready to get on the little beaver turbo to take us up to Kasagami Wilderness Lodge on Kasagami Lake. Stay tuned for some enormous pike and tons of walleyes as fast as we can catch them. Well, we've been here a grand total of like 15 minutes and the three boats around us have caught a, a whole bunch of perfect shore lunch fish. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How about you just drop right down? There's a little nicer fish too. Yep. Grab that one for me if you would, Jake. Great thing about Kasagami, <laughs> guides in the boat. Awesome stuff. There's one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Yeah, better. Yeah. That's a better one. Awesome. Kasagami Lake, baby. Little tiny Strike King jigs. I even turned our guide on to them. We're using little two inch crappie jigs and they are awesome. Look at them beautiful fish. Oh, it's right behind <laughs> catch and release. What's that? Jake calls it a Kasagami release. Beautiful. And there we go. Little two inch crappie jig. That's all we're using. And literally, you see how far we're fishing from the boat? <laughs> like six inches. <laughs> I'm gonna switch positions while Jake gets it off. Look at that. Nice fish. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's perfect. Look at the way that is. Right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that great fish. And there's that little teeny jig again. Like I say, it's a, it's a little crappie twister tail called a Strike King Shad Pole. It catches fish in Canada. Big fish, big fish. Oh my gosh. Big one. <laughs> this is like a submarine boy is under the boat. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to keep him away. Look at that fish. Kasagami Lake. First pike spot of the day. First pike spot. He does not want to be in our boat. I'll bring him at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> That right there is why you come to Kasagami Lake. Hundreds of walleyes, fantastic northern fishing, and hands-on combat fishing, combat fishing for sled northerns. You know what catch and release means? Let's let this girl go. Off she goes right into it. Yeah, baby. 
The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Crestliner, forged with strength, defined by durability. Mercury Marine, go boldly. And Motor Guide. So hey, sportsman John Bergsma, here's our tackle box for the day. Now, what we're gonna do here is show you what we're using. Now, this is the big four and a half inch rage tail. And what's really fun about this particular bait, take your weedless, you know, your just regular offset worm hook. Now, when you're northern fishing, you're gonna wanna fish uh, with a, and you're gonna wanna make sure this thing is up. So. We're gonna spin it so we go in, you're gonna to wanna to fish weedless when you're fishing these shallow waters. You just push it into that first, first little nub right there. You run it up and you're just gonna offset it just like you would a worm, okay? So you get it up on your offset and spin it. And now this little indented slot right there is right there for you and you just Push, bend the worm a little, of course, like your eyes would. Push it through, and now it lays, pull this up, it lays right in that slot perfectly, and it allows you to long cast this bait right through the weeds. So it lays straight. Now, again, one of the little things is make sure these claws are pulled apart. Sometimes they're a little bit connected at the manufacturer, you wanna pop them apart and you just sit here and watch the action of this in the water. See how it, I threw it right on a weed? But look at those little tails. Any movement at all through the water and it rolls right over top of the weeds and the reeds and northerns cannot stand that. White is a great color. Another little tip you could do is you could take a magic marker and you could paint a red magic marker and paint the head or the back half of the claws red, and that would drive Northerns crazy too. But hey, let's get back in there. Watch this cast. See how far I casted right out into that? And I can just easily just slow reel that, and it will walk right over top of those reeds. Even though I'm casting crosswind right now, you see how it just walks right over those reeds. It's totally reedless. Reedless, that's a new term. Reedless, weedless, and I bring it in. Now when I'm long casting with the reeds, understand that the wind is gonna lay the reeds down, then it's just gonna run in between them. And you're sight fishing, boom, big northern right there. You're sight fishing, just what I just told you. Never quit watching, never quit watching. This is a train wreck, whoa. Never quit watching that bait, guys because when that bait vanishes, it's white. When you lose sight of that bait, you've been hit. And pike sometimes will overrun the bait. And when they overrun the bait like that, this is a big fish and I don't wanna lose them. Yep, but we'll have to slip to them. Now this is where having an experienced guide is huge. Jake knows that these reeds can tear up even 30 pound braid that I got. So what we've got to do here, he's free, is change the angle. He pulled the, he pulled it. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a sled of a Northern, an absolute sled. We're going to show you what a rage tail weedless. Ah, did he come free? No, he didn't. He just ran at me. I'm still on him. Big Phil, look at this fish. Look at this one. Holy cow. <laughs> you, excuse me for being candid, but if you want ball busting action, Kasagami Lake, baby. This is a train wreck coming at you, Jake. This is a sled. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm going to sit down and say I don't think I'm leaving camp with whatever's left of these baits. Jake's going to hold me hostage. <laughs> you like them, don't you, buddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Look at how easy that hook come out. Now Jake's going to let me show you this Well, he wrangles the fish to me. It's important to cradle net, but look at it. See how that attitude of that bait is? All I got to do to fix it, look, boom, back to weedless. That is as simple as that bait, bait is. And deadly, <laughs> you just saw it live. <laughs> 42 baby <laughs> and not and not unhealthy <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you want big northern pike Kasagami lake and Kasagami lake oh my gosh look at the thickness look at the back on this fish that is just a sled a flat out sled Let's take the time to release them right. You lay them down, you hold them in the water. Look at the size of that fish. The healthiness of this population, Jake, is awesome. Yeah, that's a big one. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. And we're not gonna hurry her. I mean, I really, really horsed her and fought her hard and she did a great job, but we'll let her recover. She'll swim away when she's darn well ready. And right now, there she goes. Back to keep another angler that comes and visits Charlie McDonald at Kasagami Lake. Woo! The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Strike King Lures, tie one on. Lose, feel the difference. And Wave Pro, best ride on the water. Oh. First fish of the morning. We thought it was maybe going to be slow because of the temperatures, but nice fish to start the day. Oh. Do you want to cradle it or hand land? I think so. I've got to keep a ton of pressure on them because these are barbless hooks. We've smashed the barbs down on our on our jigs because uh, Kasagami is barbless. One single, that's a nice fish. Jake? Good start. Good start to the morning. All right. Good job, Jake. I'll tell you what, so, that fish was live. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Awesome. Nice fish, John. Awesome. Yep. Healthy as can be. You know, when we first got to the Cochrane Air Base and took Cochrane Air out here to Kasagami, we were a little taken back by the greeting we got. And we found out in our stay over the next four days that it wasn't just us because we were a TV show. They greeted every single party the same way with the staff out on the docks with wheelbarrows waiting to take their stuff off the planes, take it directly to their cabin or lodge room, load it in for them. The guide was, their guide for the day was waiting for them at the dock. The minute they got off, they got ushered in for a fresh breakfast. They could go freshen up if they wanted to and immediately to the boats and off to the lake to go fishing. That, that hospitality that Charlie McDonald and the staff here at Kasagami bring is a really, really unique situation to these great North Adventures and Kasagami does it as good as anyone. The accommodations at Kasagami are fantastic. Not only are we way north uh, into northern Ontario, just about 60 miles short of James Bay, but we have a fantastic fully powered lodge system with full service amenities, waitresses, bringing you custom made meals every night, a fully stocked bar. Our cabins were great and uh, it also has lodge rooms with full showers and toilets and just all the things you don't really expect when you get this far north. 
part of the experience here at Kasagami is their shore lunch. You know, and every guide goes out in every boat with a kit fully prepared to do shore lunch. Now you can opt for a box lunch if that's what you want, if you want to really get into the fishing all day long. But I would encourage everybody to take advantage of shore lunch. Shore lunch is when you go out and you catch a dozen walleyes and you and the crew, everyone on the boat, goes to shore and makes fried potatoes and onions, baked beans, you know, and deep fried walleye. You know, our system fishing tip for everyone today is our little 9-9 Merc was really the star of the show when it came to catching fish. Because one of the keys to catching fish here on Kasagami is having some slight movement. This water's really shallow. You're fishing from three to eight feet pretty much maximum when you're uh, catching these walleyes. And what we were doing was back trolling with the 9-9 Merc flipping the jig out maybe 15 or 20 feet, clicking the bail and just holding our rod and slow swimming those jigs along the drop off breaks and having a smooth running engine, having a reliable piece of equipment that keeps you going not only from spot to spot with these great big 20 foot canoes. I was really surprised at just how well a Merc 99 with four guys in the boat and a 20 foot canoe got us across a really big lake, sometimes with some good waves going on. And then once we got to the spot, of course, it's a Merc is a Merc. A 9.9 -9 is one of the best back trolling engines that's ever been invented. And it did an awesome job here this week at Kasagami for us. The Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle, leaders in trolling technology. Trax Tech, the ultimate fishing system and Garmin. Coming to Kasagami for the first time was a real eye-opening experience. I expected Monster Northerns and I got Monster Northerns. Oh yeah, right here Chase right there look at the boils you see that thing in golf <laughs> i'm trying to keep them out of the reeds you got a barbless here at kasagami you got to keep them yeah yeah this is nasty awesome stuff look at it in the light of that ontario sun these pigs are why you come to Kasagami Lake Lodge. What I did not expect was hundreds, and I mean hundreds of walleyes every day. You know, and a lot of people think of this purely as a big pike lake. And again, it is an awesome big pike lake. But if you love walleye fishing, Kasagami Wilderness Lodge and Kasagami Lake are the place to go. Oh yeah, look at the size of this sled coming in. Oh, look at, he engulfed that. We were trolling those jigs. See that jig? No, you can't, because it's gone. That is what an aggressive presentation will get you. Beautiful fish, but that little tiny jig trolled, and they are coming up and just whacking it. 17 to 20 inches all day long. Silly fishing. That's all you can say about it. It's just silliness. Hey, it's Gary from Ravenna Marine. Today we're in the PT-18 and what a fishing boat. Felt like I almost caught a fish right there. And I'll tell you, just the amount of space, how you can use this boat is just phenomenal. The trolling motors that they put on there, integrated foot pedals. We basically have butt seats, leaning posts if you'd like that are on hydraulics. Just a fishing, fishing machine. You can see you can have multiple people up on the boat. So if you're spider rigging, you know, multi-species boat, just not one type of bass boat. Plenty of room in the rod locker. As you can see, I'll stow my rods away. And everything is in tubes, so you don't have to worry about anything. Storage is not a problem in the PT-18. As you can see, we've got room for lots of rods. And you know you need a rod for every species. So now you can fish for every species while you're out there. It is lockable. 
nice little cooler in the center. But best of all, look at your rear casting deck. A lot of room back here, additional pedestal seat if you'd like. Double live well. So go get your fish today. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today on the show. We had an awesome time on the water. We had great experiences here at Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. If you want to check out our Facebook page, it's at Great Lakes Fisherman's Digest or online at fishermansdigest.com for awesome fishing reports. We'll see you again next week. Closed captioning brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water online at waveproshock.com. Well, we just got done with one of Kasagami Lodge's famous shore lunches. We literally just sat at shore lunch and had a black bear come in. Welcome to Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. I'm your uh, roving reporter and this is a bear who really likes the fish and chips we're making. And apparently we're not going to run anywhere because we're surrounded by water and we can't go that way. So we were cooking and someone said, look behind you. And we literally looked and like three feet behind us. Only in Northern Ontario does this happen.